We got ourselves a Lath, going to be first up over the team two. On the team, we got us a Low Bro and Ray Gun as them Dragon Boys with Claws and Bone Breaker in the back. And Lath going to be first up versus Nori. Nori already got wings. Big final wreck. Lath knows it's going to be big trouble. Trying to see if he can back up out of the goal. Big blast out of Nori. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Bubble out of Nori. As again, like, no hopes over. Definitely needs to go for recovery. And Lath is looking fairly safe, fairly good. Oh my goodness, Nori backing up out of there. I don't know if Nori expected to get locked out like this. Locked out on uh, 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 Holy as well. Big heal though. Oh my god, what is that burst? Wait, last. what are you? <laughs> I am sorry, what? What was that burst at the end? And on how? Oh my god, why did they have to send on how as you, man? On how is this a killer? Oh, Laz is gonna have himself a hell of a game trying to fight, see if he can fight against on how. I don't know how you do it. Trying to go for a sleepy time on him. Man is probably gonna go for a trinket. Like, oh my god, blasting him out. Cloaker Shadows, wait. Okay, Laz. Woo, full recovery. On how is right next to you. Got it with a sap. Wait, you still have Dotson though. <laughs> full dots on a Laz. Does he have any ways to stop it? Maybe an immunity? Does he have ways to cleanse all those dots off of him? Because on how is just gonna sit behind the pillar. Laz is gonna have to profusely start healing himself. And how can push him and just make some pressure happen? Lath is trying to recover as best as he can. I don't know if this man got any kind of immunities or any kind of big recovery bonuses. Got him some mobility. Looking to get it for a sleepy time. Trying to go for a self heal. Definitely needs to go sleepy time onto Anhao at some point. Got himself a big star onto Anhao. But the man is going to go for a reset with a blind onto Lath. Lath needs something here. Shortest stun in the world though. That may give him a bit of advantage. Short stun. Root onto Anhao. Does he have a proper gum? Maybe he has another go for him. Trying to go disintegration, big blaster damage, got him so big shattering star, does he have himself a proper setup? Looking to reposition, another disintegrate, uninterruptible, it's gonna get interrupted for a second there though, on one of those kids. And how just literally bowed him, and how bowed, I think and how knew what was gonna happen, he hit him with a quick bow, like I know what's gonna happen, I'm out of cooldowns, literally knew what was gonna hit him, I am surprised he did a bow. It looks like they sent uh, Gabi first, Gabi wants a bit of a revenge, not give a last an opportunity. Oh my god, <laughs> low bro. I thought you guys were gonna keep Lobby on the cleanup duty. Gobby doesn't get sleep for too long. Does he have an insurance? Woo! My goodness. Okay. We don't need to do that. <laughs> Gobby, we put him on a cleanup duty because he got that one shot. And the man does have big one shots. But like I said earlier, it feels like Monk is kind of a glass cannon. You do a lot of damage, but like you don't live long either. Lovro taking big damage, maybe Meteor coming down, looking for as much self recovery as possible, interrupting Johnny Bravo, looking for big damage with the breath, getting knocked out in the open, trying to go for a breath, is going to get some dot damage on Johnny, maybe can go for a bunch of living flame instant casts. Johnny getting blasted out, trying to go for big Arcanosphere, Nova onto Lover, but Lover got quite a lot of arcade damage back to him, got himself a temporal on top of it. As Lover looking for a living flame to catch himself back up on heals. Lover with a disintegrate. You can't really stop an evoker once you're just uh, chasing after it with disintegrate. Johnny does have all the time though, so Lover is gonna just camp him. He knows he's gonna be up here. He knows he's gonna be poking out. Polly, does he have an interrupt? Trying to see if he can maybe prevent the CC with a breath. Johnny got him so cast, maybe he could get interrupted. Living flame for Lover, trying to go for as much self healing as possible. There's gonna be a bunch of missiles around the corner with an Arcanosphere. Lover better be careful with it. Might want to use mobility. Trying to see if he can get, get, get out of there. And does get rooted as John tried to catch him and place him way through, but is able to avoid it. Interrupt their own fire for a second, but definitely needs himself as much self healing as possible. Johnny needs to find himself a way to deal with this. Lover got some big blast. Maybe interrupt him to Johnny. Does he get a proper go? Johnny has all the time. He's going to be able to alter back, but Lover still got plenty of damage. Oh my god, big blast by Lover. Oh, Johnny. Johnny thought, you know what, the worst is over. And then Lover just hit him with it. These evokers, man, tonight are just doing work. Lover looking for that sleepy time onto Varg, doesn't quite catch him. Stun, Lover could be in big, big danger. Lots of pet damage. Trying to see if he can go for some recovery. Chimeric boys is stopping him in place. And Varg does have to go for a bit of a reset. Wait, is Lath back? It wasn't Lath dead earlier. Did they res Lath? Spectating, cool. Big damage on Varg with a combo experience. Does he land the turtles not to follow? My goodness. I look, I was like, kind of waiting for Varg to like set up or cause to set up. Big damage, big blaze. Because he has a little bit of like, he has a, mostly like a damage over time build with a couple of bites and then one big convoke. So it's kind of like a lot of his damage is very, very passive. Does catch Varg in a maim though. Varg looking to get himself as much health recovery as possible. Is very, very low on health. Trying to see if he can maybe cut the furl into the freezing trap. Does get to, but he's going to break his own freezing trap. Varg may just go down right here. Claws and got him on the ropes. And does end up taking him out. We got ourselves Gobby over for the team one. I think they're going to let this man go last on that cleanup duty. <laughs> we got ourselves Johnny Bravo on that team. Russo is a shadow priest. We got on how on Varg. 
We got us a bone breaker on that warrior and charge it up versus the fury. Charge it versus Russo. Doesn't want to let him get inside of Spirit coming down. Looking for the big wombo combo. Watch out, Russo. Can't really go anywhere. Trying to go for soul field. Has to go for disperse. Looking for the reset. Looking for the recovery with the side field slowing him down. Bone breaker getting locked down in the sun. Does not have a trinket. Mind games are going to be detrimental. Silence of the bone breaker. Does go for a quick pummel on Russo. Storm bolt again on Russo. As he got himself a full PI, Bone is just getting channeled on by that tentacle. Not much you can do about a trinket to make sure he breaks out of the CC. Kind of dropping low on health. Needs to go for as much self recovery as possible. Needs to play it very defensive. Needs to look out for his own life as best as he can. It looks like he's prioritizing healing whenever possible. Bloodthirst needs to be used every single global. That's got himself a short charge. Looks like he wants to go counter aggressive versus Russo. He needs to at some point get aggressive at some point. Got himself a big charge. Maybe an execute potential. Stunned by Russo. Does he have enough damage? Bonebreaker is outside of the execute range. Get him with the silence. That's going to be a quick pummel onto the mind games. Does go for a storm bolt. Maybe shouldn't have put those two together. Needs to go for reflect at some point. Fear. Does he have a way to reflect it? Oh, mind games takes him. Oh, no. That is so rough. If only he had himself at Zerkas, but I think that's why Russo, he waited until Zerkas was out and then hit him with a fear. If only he had like Zerkas with a reflect, that maybe would have given him a chance. Russo under a ton of pressure by Feral. Few seconds until he can get himself a disperse, but Claw's not going to even give him a chance. With Johnny Bravo going to be up next. Johnny has fought Claw's a couple of times now. Claw's does not give these boys a breather at all. Power shifted between bear form and cat form. He wants to make sure whoever has access to the skull badge in order to pressure Johnny. He doesn't power shift to human form nearly as often. Johnny shrinks out of that what looks like a stun. Trying to go for the Kyrian. Bait it out with a kick. Potentially look at him so proper go. Claus has a bash to follow. Johnny begs away from the convoke and is going to be able to establish a ring of frost. Claus does want to go for a couple moon fires. Johnny's super super low on health. Does not have an ice back anymore. And Claus looking to close the gap. Johnny with an invis. Try to see at least give him some proper invis. Meteor coming down onto Claus with the Kyrian. Again, the skull bash comes through and Claws taking him out. That is a rough one, man. As an arcane mage against a feral, you can't pot him off to really get a proper, like, opener CC chain. So you have to find a way around it, and it's just kind of difficult. Big stun onto Varg. Claws take a lot of damage from his best too. Varg with a massive heal. Claws looking to uh, just kind of peel behind the pillar. Got him some berserk bear for friends of region. Looking to go for a bit of recovery. Varg trying to see if he can get himself a better angle. Sorry for them jittering, by the way, boys. I can't this build, everybody's kind of jittery when they're safe. Double stun into Claws. Could be in a big, big trouble. Claws like to find himself cover behind Pillar. Does he have any more self-healing at all? He's trying to go for as much self-heal as possible. Regrows are keeping him alive. Chimeric Poison rolling through him. Claws does have a lot of his damage reduced as well as healing. Super low on health. Could be going down and it's going to be Kill Command. Taking him out. I wonder if Warwick is playing the Kill Command Execute. Or if he's got himself the, um, the double Kill Command combo. Law of Rose is going to be next. With a bit of a self heal, got a full root onto Varg with a sleepwalk. Not much you can do about it. Does he have him ready with a fire breath? Looking to blast him out. Does he have the big go? Eternity Surge is going to get reflected with a turtle shell. Varg does not, can't really do much against Silver. Needs to find a way to stun him. Living Flame right after him. Varg, if he sees Lover move, he's definitely going to stun him. Sleepwalk again. Does he have a proper go? Maybe. Disintegrate right after. Varg got himself a bit of a heal. Lover looking to be able to blast him out. Wait, is he trying to heal him? It looked like your living flame is trying to heal the guy. Knocking the hunter back, but it's taking a bit of damage. These pets maybe can ramp up. Varg just sees himself line to side. Maybe a pet stun. Full burst out of Lovra. Big blast out of Varg. Does it go down? No. Oh, Lovra does end up taking him out. The evoker comes back out with on how assass. Gonna be up next. Looking to maybe lock him down. Uh, Lovra needs a defense of something, anything. Maybe an immunity. I think it's over. Yeah, I'm not gonna give him a break. With I'm a dragon, trying to see if we can prevent on how from getting a proper go. Does hit him with what looked like a um a star. Shattering star as a man went for a vanish. I think the star missed. Reagan almost catches him out in the open. He's gonna trick it, trying to knock him back. Sleepwalk to fall get interrupted. Nullified shroud for Reagan. Needs to go for self-healing. Looking for the limb flame. Maybe that gives him an Asura ability. On how to see his one more go versus him. He can't really stop the guy. Reagan looking for as much self-healing as possible. Limb flame to try to keep himself afloat. He got himself a wall as well. On how to see a bit more damage to take him down. And Raygun got him some burst, maybe big damage. Oh, big fire about to follow. Oh my god, disintegrate almost getting him down on how still somehow alive he got him some evasion. Let's see how the fire damage burning him. No, dots are off completely. Does Raygun have enough damage to disintegrate? Oh my god, and how that prison turned it around. How do you turn that one around? Lath going back on the evoker with disintegrate to try to finish off what the other guy started. That's gonna be a living flame versus on how unless he can stop it. There it is. On how Lath needs to find a way to fight Gobby. I don't know how you do this. 
Gabi taking a bit of those disintegrate damage around the corner. Lash trying to go for a big setup. Root onto Gabi. Does he have himself a big go? Big breath. Oh my god. He did it. The monk has a big one shot, but so does the last moker. Oh my goodness. Claws with two. Last come back up with two. Vark slaying the kill. Gabi tried his best but kind of just got screwed with that root on how coming back i'm surprised he actually beat the uh, evoker i thought it was really going to be that close of a game he kept the dots rolling them dot damage of assassin is just so potent oh my god i am so glad assassin is you can do dot heavy gameplay by the way i wanted that for so long i want you to be an affliction warlock